Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. We bless the name of the Lord. We give him praise. We give him glory. We give him honor. We give him adoration. Our great Savior, our great physician, our great deliverer, we celebrate your majesty. We thank you, King of Kings, King of Glory, for counting us worthy to be alive. We bow to worship you and we vow to celebrate your majesty. Our great Savior, our great physician, good morning, Holy Spirit, Spirit of Christ, Spirit of the Lord Jesus. For the next few minutes, do what is in your plan. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time, God is good. I welcome you all to Better Prayer Ministry International. By the special grace of God, today happens to be our Kingdom Advancement Service. Kingdom Advancement Service. Kingdom Promotion Service. And I welcome you to Global Kingdom Promotion Business 2021. Glory be to God. I welcome you all to Global Kingdom Promotion Business 2021. Global Advancement Business, Kingdom Advancement, Kingdom Promotion Business 2021. The focus, the focus, the purpose of this meeting is to encourage all and sundry to come to the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and in short to promote kingdom agenda, kingdom agenda, kingdom focus, preaching and compare people to other castle people to encourage all and sundry that we need to preach Jesus Christ. Wherever you go, preach Jesus, preach repentance, preach holiness, preach eschatological study messages preach eschatological messages stop preaching miracles stop promoting miracle items one damn miracle items will take no one to anywhere in life it's all about the lord jesus christ preach jesus preach holiness preach purity preach righteousness preach sanctification and holiness glory be to his holy name so my brother, my sister, under the sound of my voice, you claim you purport you are a preacher of the gospel. This year, how many times have you preached on repentance? How many times have you compelled people to come to the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Some of us have stopped preaching repentance. And I want to compare you, encourage you, whoever you are. If you claim you are a man of God, a woman of God, Preach repentance. Preach repentance. You need to repent and start preaching repentance. I said, you must repent and start preaching repentance. Glory be to his holy name. All prophets, all evangelists, all apostles, all men of God, in short, all those who purport and claim they are part of the fivefold ministry. Repent. And start preaching repentance. Repent and start preaching repentance. And let me tell you, nobody can change you. So this morning, our topic for reflection is global freedom through authentic, true, genuine, or true, true repentance. Glory be to his holy name. Promoting kingdom agenda through repentance. Let's start preaching repentance everywhere we go. Start preaching repentance everywhere we go. Start preaching everywhere we go. Start preaching repentance everywhere you go. Start preaching repentance everywhere you go. Whoever you are, my brother, my sister, you need to repent and come to the serving knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory be to his holy name. Panacea, the panacea for global pandemic, the panacea for epidemic, for disasters, for calamities, for suffering, is repentance. The panacea for suffering, for any issue in life, problem in life, global suffering, pandemic, particularly COVID-19, is repentance. Our men of God must repent. Our political leaders must repent. 
Those who go to church must repent. Those who claim they are Christians must repent. Those who purport that they are highly religious must repent. It's not about being religious. It's not about you being a Christian. It's not about you being a Muslim. It's not about you being a Buddhist. It's not about you being purported to be practicing any particular religion. It's not about being religious, my brother, my sister. It's about repenting. Repent of your sins. So, I will take you through briefly about four instances in the Bible that do depict the note that preaching repentance is of paramount importance. That is of paramount importance. It's three interparties when it comes to preaching in repentance. And the Lord Jesus Christ, the first instance is that the Lord Jesus Christ himself, the author and the perfecter, the finisher of our faith, our savior and our Lord, our master, he started preaching repentance. He started his ministry on this earth preaching repentance. And if you claim you are one of his followers and you do not preach repentance, you do not preach holiness, then are you one of his disciples? Then are you a Christian? You are not to be a Christian. You are not born again yet, my brother, my sister. You claim an apostle. I will get him unto yourself. Right, reverend, prophet, professor, prophet, and what have you. You are not born again yet, my brother, my sister. If you do not focus, you do not follow in the footsteps of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So the first sermon, the first message ever delivered, preached by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is repentance. You can read that from Mark, Mark chapter 1, verse 14 through 15. The Lord Jesus started his ministry preaching that for the kingdom of heaven, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent and believe the gospel. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ said. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ said, my brother, my sister. You are a prophet. You are an apostle. You are an evangelist. You are a preacher. My brother, whoever you are, my sister, have you been preaching repentance? Let's promote kingdom agenda, kingdom business through repentance, by preaching repentance, and by repenting of our sins. Some of us pursue personal interests. Amassing wealth. Have you repented of your sins? You go to church. You preach. You travel abroad with the intention of making money. Amassing wealth. Living an extravagant life. And have you repented of your sins? You don't know Jesus yet, my brother, my sister. You need to repent of your sins. So Mark chapter 1, verse 14 through 15, the Lord Jesus, he started preaching repentance that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent and believe the gospel. And when you talk about repentance, what is it? What does it mean? Repentance, repentance is an inner change of mind. It starts from where? It's inner change of mind resulting in an actual turning around or turning back and to move and face in a completely new direction. That is repentance. Repentance is an inner change of mind. Inner change of mind. Resulting in an actual turning around. Physical turning around. You turn around tangibly for somebody to see. Turn around to move and to face in a completely new direction. We need to face and move in a completely new direction. You need to face and move in a completely new direction, my brother, my sister, under the sound of my voice. Repent, and nobody can repent you. And it's not semantically and pragmatically appropriate, even for one to say, I repent you. Nobody can repent you. Nobody can repent in any language. We can say, I repent you. What do we can't you say? Me sacra. You want me sacra or be biana? Vous ne pouvez pas dire à quelqu'un que je vous repent. Vous ne pouvez pas faire repenter personne, mon ami, mon frère. On ne peut pas dire parce que l'on veut se repentir est un verbe essentiellement pronominal. C'est un verbe essentiellement quoi? Pronominal. Personne, mon, mon frère, mon ami, 
Personne ne peut pas vous repentir. Personne. No body can repent you. No body can repent you. Vous devez vous repentir. Donc on doit dire, répands-toi de ton péché. Répentez-vous de votre péché. C'est ça on doit dire. Répentez-vous de votre péché. Répands-toi de ton péché. Répands-toi de ton péché. Répands-toi de ton péché. Répentez-vous de votre péché, mon ami. Nobody can repent you in short. You need to repent of your sins and come to the seven knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Whoever you are under the sound of my voice, repent, repent, repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. For the kingdom of God is at hand. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. And nobody can repent you. You may be a prophet. You may be an evangelist. You may be an apostle. If you don't repent, you will die and go to hell. Repent, 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 repent. So the Lord Jesus Christ said, When you read Luke chapter 13, Luke chapter 13, verse 3 and verse 5, the Lord Jesus said, Unless you repent, he said, he repeated this message. He said, Unless you repent, unless you repent, you shall perish. Unless you repent, you shall all perish. Luke chapter 13, verse 3 to 5. Read it. The Lord Jesus said in verse 3, Unless you repent, you shall likewise, you shall all perish. And then the first said, unless you repent, you shall perish. 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 Political leaders, religious leaders, academic leaders, traditional leaders, whoever you are, you need to repent and believe the gospel. Repent. Glory be to his holy name. Hallelujah. And Apostle Peter, Apostle Peter, The immediate successor of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ also preached repentance. Apostle Peter, the immediate successor of the Lord Jesus Christ, also preached repentance. As for Apostle chapter 2, verse 37 through 37 to what? 37 to 38. As for Apostle chapter 2, verse 37 to 38. Glory be to his holy name. Listen to the word of God. When the people heard this, they were cut. They were cut. They were cut to the heart. They were pricked in the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, 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 what shall we do? Brothers, what shall we do? And listen to their response of Apostle Paul, the immediate successor of the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 38, Paul the Peter, the apostles said, Repent! Repent! And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Repent! 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 Every one of you, for the forgiveness of sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Repent! Repent! When you meet people, don't ask them, do you go to church? No, people go to church. Don't ask them, do you preach? People preach. People preach, but they have not repented of their sins. People preach, but they have not repented of their sins. People are founders of ministries, but they have not repented of their sins. My brother, my sister. People are bishops, apostles, Presiding bishops, but they are self seeking. They are highly promiscuous. They are highly, they, they are humanizers. They have not even repented of their sins. They have not given their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. They haven't. They haven't. So, Apostle Peter said, Apostle Peter said, Repent, 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 every one of you. Repent, every one of you. Repent, every one of you, for the forgiveness of sin. The people ask the apostle. They ask the apostle, brothers, 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 what must we do? What should we do? Repent and believe the gospel. Whatever is going on all over the world, whatever is going on, the panacea, 
the panacea for the global issue problem is repentance. True repentance. My brother, my sister, you need to repent of your sins and come to the serving knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Apostle Paul also said something. Apostle of the Most High God, an apostle par excellence, Apostle Paul, also said something. When you read, as of the Apostle, chapter 17, verse 30, as of the Apostle, chapter 17, verse 30, Apostle Paul says, in terms of ignorance, the Lord God Almighty, he went at it, he overlooked it, but now commands all men, all people, everywhere to repent. This is a global message. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. Repent. It's not about going to church. It's not about arrogating unto yourself titles, my brother, my sister. We need to repent of your sins. We need to repent of your sins. Don't die in your sin and go to hell. Don't die without knowing Jesus Christ. If you die without knowing the Lord Jesus Christ, without repenting of your sin, even the Lord Jesus Christ cannot help you. Cannot help you when you die. The Lord Jesus Christ cannot help you when you die. I'm not talking about you being a Christian. I'm talking about repenting of your sins and giving your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent and give your life to the Lord Jesus. So Paul said, in terms of ignorance, the Lord God Almighty went at it. But now, but now, this is an imperative statement, a command, a verdict, an order from the Most High God. He commands all men, all people everywhere to repent. God is commanding all politicians, repent. God is commanding all false prophets, repent. God is commanding all churchgoers to repent. God is commanding all religious people to repent. God is commanding all and sundry, you, my brother, my sister, and get the cell of my voice. Repent, repent, repent. God is commanding you to repent and believe the gospel. Glory be to his holy name. You need to repent and believe the gospel. We will end it here. We will continue God's will next week. Glory be to God. May the Spirit of the Lord help you. Whatever you have, you need to repent. God is commanding you, repent. God is commanding you to repent. In terms of ignorance, the Lord God Almighty went at it. But now he's commanding all unsandry, all fornicators, all lesbians, all homosexuals, all drunkards, all womanizers, all liars everywhere to repent. God is commanding you. God is commanding all those who don't know Jesus. You need to repent now and give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever you are, I want you to begin to pray that from today, I, Michael, also tell me, I repent of my sin. I, John, I, Michael, I, if you are mentioning your own name, that you repent of your sin because I cannot repent you. Nobody can repent you. Nobody can repent you, my brother, my sister. You need to repent of your sin now. You need to repent and give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ now. And you that you are a prophet, you that you are a preacher of the gospel, you that you are a church leader and you have not been preaching on the topic repentance, you have not been preaching repentance, you have not been preaching the Lord Jesus. I want you to begin to confess that Jesus have mercy on me. I repent of my sin. And from today, I have decided that I will be preaching repentance. I will be promoting kingdom agenda through genuine repentance. By preaching repentance, by laying emphasis on repentance. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I want you to begin to pray that Spirit of Christ help me. Dear Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I repent of my sin now. And I give you my spirit. I give you my soul. I give you my body. Dear Lord Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy on our nations. I pray that may the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ help you to repent of your sins genuinely and come to the serving knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May the God of all grace and mercy show you mercy, show you his grace now and forevermore. May he be gracious unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, help, help us. Holy Spirit, be our helper. 
Holy Spirit be our advocate. Holy Spirit be our intercessor, our counselor, so that we will never go away well. We will not go astray. Help us, Holy Spirit. Help us, Holy Spirit, to come to true repentance. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May the Almighty God bless you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory be to his holy name. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, I want to encourage you to look for any Bible-believing church to attend. And wherever you are, you can equally look for Better Prayer Ministry International and Worship of Dust. If you are in Accra, please don't hesitate to worship of us at Upper Wajanibba with Malam Assembly. And your life is never, never going to be the same. God bless you to continue to be a blessing in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Repent! And believe the gospel. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent and believe the gospel. Glory be to God. Goodbye. Hallelujah. Amen.